हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट अनदर न्यूमेरिकल ऑन यूनिट नंबर सिक्स डेट इज कैनेटिक्स ऑफ आर्टिकल्स एंड आई हैव अपलोडेड वन फाइल इन योर अकाउंट द नेम ऑफ दैट फाइल इज सिक्स पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट टू जीरो इन दिस फाइल टू नमेरिकल्स आर गिवन सो आई विल डिस्कस दो टू नमेरिकल्स थ्रू दिस वीडियो दिस इज द फर्स्ट नमेरिकल आई एम टेकिंग सो लेट अस रीड द स्टेटमेंट वॉट इज सेज द बॉब ऑफ अ टू मीटर पेंडुलम डिस्क्राइब्स एन आर्क ऑफ सर्कल इन अ वर्टिकल प्लेन सो देर इज अ बॉब and it is acting like a pendulum and the chord length is 2 meter and this bob is moving along an arc of a circle if the tension in the chord is 2.5 times the weight of the bob so there is one condition given that tension in this particular chord is 2.5 times the weight of the bob so let us call the weight of the bob as mg because mass of the bob is given us given to us as m for this position if the tension in the cord is 2.5 times the weight of the bob for this position shown find the velocity find the velocity and acceleration of the bob in that position now one thing to understand uh, when i discuss the theory of uh, kinetics of particles with you and uh, in that theory i have talked about uh, tangential and normal components so i hope you have watched that video and this concept is clear to you so this concept says that if there is a particle moving along a curved path then that particle is under the effect of two forces one is the uh, one is the tangential force acting tangent to the curve another one is the normal force acting along the curve so this particular system will be equal to two types of accelerations of the particle one acceleration will be tangent to the path that will be called as tangential acceleration another acceleration will be normal to the path that will be called as normal acceleration so we'll call this as summation f is equal to ma so from this concept we drive two equations one is summation ft is equal to mat then second is summation fn is equal to man so we use we will use this concept in this particular problem because your particle is moving along a curve it means the very first step to solve this problem is that we should draw the free body of this bob so how to construct the free body first of all draw this bob so this bob is drawn here to this bob attach the cable so this cable is shown this cord is shown at some angle and uh, let us represent the forces the first force to represent on this bob is its weight which will act in downward direction so that weight is shown here weight is acting in downward direction and another force will be the tension in the cord that will act towards the point o so that tension is shown in the normal long point towards point o so right now only these two forces are acting on the bob now there is one thing to understand whenever a particle is moving along a curve then we have to consider two axes one axis will be along tangent to the that will be tangent to the path of the uh, motion and one will be along the normal to the path caused by the particle or traced by the particle so these are the two axes to solve the problem so it means one axis is along this cord that is normal to the curved path and another axis is tangent to the curved path so that tangent is shown here here so if i have to draw the path it the path will be like this so path the particle is moving along this curved path so two axes are considered one is tangent to the curved path another is normal to the path now we have to resolve these two forces along these two axes only fine so now you see this tangent uh, tension is already acting along this normal component so along this axis so no need to resolve this particular tension but if you will see this particular force this force is acting at some angle to normal and to tangent fine so what we will do we have to resolve this weight into its components first so how to resolve now come back to this problem you see this particular cord is at 30 degree to the vertical it means if i sketch a vertical line here so this angle is 30 degree so if this angle is 30 degree it means this is also 30 degree so now we can resolve this weight into its components so along this particular normal or this axis we will call the component as mg cos theta that is 30 degree and along this tangent this component will be called as mg sin 30 degree now you see we have resolved this these forces into the components that is along tangent to the path along normal to the path so right now we have three forces tension mg sin 30 mg cos 30 
Now this system is equivalent to what? It is equivalent to two kinds of accelerations of the bob. One is along the tangent to the curve that is tangential acceleration and another is along normal to the curve that is normal acceleration. So it means two equations are applicable. One time we will say we can say that summation ft is equal to mat means all the forces acting along tangential to the curved path are responsible for tangential acceleration. So that is summation ft is equal to mat. So how many forces are acting along the tangent to the path? Only one force that is mg sin 30. So this direction and the acceleration direction is same. So we can write mg sin 30 equal to mat. So m will cancel out from here we will get the answer of tangential acceleration. Now similarly we can apply the second equation. Second equation can be summation fn is equal to man means all the forces acting along the normal to the curved path will be responsible for the normal acceleration of the bob. So how many forces acting along normal? One is the tension, another is mg cos 30. Now this is acting along the acceleration. So consider this as positive, this as negative. So we will write T minus mg cos 30 equal to man. So 2.5 mg is what? That is T given to us in the problem minus mg cos 30 is equal to man. So m will cancel out from here we will get the answer of normal acceleration. Now in the problem he is asking us to find velocity of the bob in this particular position. Now in order to find velocity we will use one uh, equation which we learned in the theory of kinetics of particles that was that normal acceleration is always equal to v square upon r. So from here we will drive v is equal to square root of r a n. So you see the same equation is used here. So from here put the value of r. What is r? That is the radius of the path that is 2 meters that is the length of the cord. And uh, an a n that is normal acceleration that is already calculated by us. So put these two values so we will get our last answer that is the velocity of the bob in this particular position. So I hope uh, this numerical is clear to you. I will discuss the second numerical of this particular file in the next video. Thank you very much.